Yesterday, India achieved what no one has. It scripted history. Hundreds of thousands of you watched it on first post. Chandrayaan-3 successfully soft landed on the moon in the southern polar region, making India the first country ever to reach this part of the lunar surface. This moment was greeted with celebrations across the country. The pride and excitement is still palpable. Now, the moon rover has taken its first steps. And with each step, it is leaving India's mark on the moon quite literally. It is roving around rocks and craters, gathering crucial data. But what really is this rover looking for? What does Chandrayaan-3 plan to achieve? Our next report tells you. Confirmation of the safety of the landing site. This was the moment when everything changed. Yesterday, the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft successfully landed at the lunar south pole. No country had ever achieved this feat before. We told you all about it. As scientists cheered and hugged each other, Prime Minister Narendra Modi waved the Indian flag and declared this a victory cry of a new India. A victory cry indeed. That's why the euphoria is far from over. People are still celebrating. And why not? This is no mean achievement. This happiness cannot be expressed in words. We are happy to our core as the hard work of our scientists has finally paid off. Today we have been successful in landing on the moon. It's indeed a great uh, achievement and the cost, the, what uh, they have achieved in the beer cost. The, in the Hollywood, the people, they make movies in that cost. So we have achieved in that cost the entire pro project landing on the moon itself. Indeed, the hard work of scientists have paid off. And now they've passed on the baton to their two teammates on the moon. We're talking about the two robots, a lander named Vikram and a rover named Pragyan. After the dust raised by the landing settled, Panels on one side of the Vikram lander opened and the Pragyan rover slid down to the lunar surface. Now the rover has taken its first steps on the moon. It's roaming around rocks and craters, gathering important data and sending images like these back to Earth. The rover will move at a speed of one centimetre per second. With each step, it will leave India's mark on the moon. Not just metaphorically, but literally. It's imprinting the logo and emblem of the Indian Space Research Organization on the lunar surface. Both the lander and rover are carrying several scientific instruments. They intend to find out which minerals are present on the lunar surface, study the soil's chemical composition, discover what goes on both above and below the surface, and most importantly, they will hunt for water. According to scientists, huge craters in the southern lunar region hold ice, meaning they have water. Why is this a game changer? Because it could support human habitation on the moon. Help in generating oxygen for life could potentially be used for fuel. And also aid spacecrafts travelling to Mars and other destinations. This would be a major breakthrough. And while India is leading the charge, it intends to share its discoveries with the rest of the world. Our moon mission is also based on the same human-centric approach. Therefore, this success belongs to all of humanity. And it will help moon missions by other countries in the future. Chandrayaan-3, the, the, the science data, it is not only for India, it is for the global scientists. So this, this data that the scientists will be using globally and they will discover some new, new things from this data. With the successful landing of Chandrayaan-3, India has already scripted history but is far from resting on its laurels. With every step India's rover takes on the dark side of the moon, 
it will throw light on our understanding of